What's up, everybody, and welcome to the Weekly Flare Podcast, episode 51. I'm James Walter, and with me is Chris Garcia. What's going on, everybody? What's going on, Chris? Chris, I feel pretty... what day is it? It is Thursday. Is it Thursday? Um, yeah. What happened? What happened yesterday, Chris? <laughs> I want to apologize to everybody because I was off the last two days, and everything passed by me. I was so confused at which day it was. I went out with some friends, and then I came home and took a nap. Woke up about six o'clock and said, "Hey, I need a haircut." So you know, I'm gonna go get a haircut. So I got a haircut. It looks and like a hat. I, right now, I'm wearing a hat because I love this hat because I'm pretty cool. It says "bull." It says "cool." Uh, it's definitely a B. <laughs> Nine five six one four is cool, California. And that definitely says "bull." Okay, <laughs> bull, California. So I went and got my haircut. Got back and I was like, you know, I'm gonna need to take a shower. I'm gonna I'm gonna tra- shim, tr- trim up gonna, shim up the beard. You're gonna shim up the beard. It's up the shimmed beard. up right now. So you got a little <laughs> curl going in your mustache. Uh, I need to trim up the uh, the beard, and then I got out of the shower and James texts me and says, "Hey, are you coming tonight?" And that's where it all. And that means no. And that all I was forgot. like, I totally forgot. We haven't recorded in. Two weeks. We missed one week because of the New Year. Week. And we had an episode that exactly. week. Well, we kind of had an episode that we week. We kind of had an ex- episode. There was a blog post that week. The audio apparently did not upload correctly. So, it's there now, though, if you want to go back yeah. and listen to our Goodbye 2015 episode, yep. which was actually pretty good. So, it was also kind of short. Yeah. So I guess I need to apologize for not coming to yesterday because I was supposed to. And then James needs to apologize for messing up the audio. So I think we're pretty even. Which of the deeds was worse? We'll, we'll put a post up. At least I tried to do my job. At, at least I I, I I offered to come you did. late. You did offer to come saying, I'll be there in 45 minutes. And you're like, no, I'm going like, to bed. No. no, I wasn't going to bed. I had plans. Oh. Well, that was my fault. At least you can get to your plans earlier. Yes, although they were set for a certain time. That's sure. why I couldn't record it later because I was like, no, I already have plans for 9 o'clock, so... I have seen I Star did. Wars two times. Wow, you've seen it twice as many times as I have. <laughs> it's, it's true. It's that good. You have. You have to see it. If you don't want to see it, then don't listen to the podcast. No, you can keep well, listening. I mean, you can still listen to it. We'll I, it. I actually would encourage you to keep listening to the podcast, especially since you're already here. We might persuade you to watch Star Wars. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to try, but you know, it's no secret that I do enjoy watching Star Wars. Speaking of Star Wars... Are we is Star Wars coming up to defeat Avatar, or it has it? it already passed it domestically? Okay. So what do we need to beat so far? Uh, Gone with the Wind and Titanic. Mm, our, well, Avatar was the number one grossing movie domestically. Okay, and worldwide, I believe. Okay, so to beat worldwide, Star Wars needs to make like another one point. 3 billion, 1.4 billion, somewhere in there. To beat which movies? To beat Avatar as the number one worldwide okay. grossing movie. Okay. That does not count inflation. The inflation, the biggest one was Gone with the Wind. I believe in with 39. inflation, that makes Gone with the Wind. Mm-hmm. Because if you take $19.39, bring them to today, you're pretty much never going to beat that number. Exactly. So it's kind of not fair, but kind of cool. Yes. But kind of not fair. That being said, the ticket sales today are way more. There's exactly. more tickets sold mm-hmm. today than 1939, but that dollar just big difference. It's very hard. So, um, but it doesn't it hasn't opened in China yet. Ooh. It has opened in Hong Kong. Not done so well in Hong Kong or anywhere in Asia. It's done okay, just not as great as it's done everywhere else in the world. So, depending on how it does in China, will really depend on if it does in fact overtake Avatar. So, being the number one movie, do mm-hmm. you think that's going to happen? I don't know. China's a weird market. They really like Transformers. But Star Wars hasn't done so well in the rest of Asia. Hmm. So, we'll see. I yeah. have high hopes. I have high hopes. <laughs> I think it'll be very close. Considering it's already past one billion without China, without mainland China. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of people in mainland China. Yes. And they like that kind of stuff. Like obviously, they like Transformers. Transformers, like Transformers did Transformers really well in China. Avatar. So, it's going to be close. It'll be close. I can guarantee it'll be close. Okay. We got to put the numbers up. We gotta, I got to know the numbers because I really want Star Wars to be the number one movie. It's, cl- it's going to be close. Avatar was like 2 point something billion. 2.8? 2. 2. Somewhere around there? Does that sound right? I think so. 
So it's gonna be close. What's what's hope? Let's hope that Star Wars can be the number one movie. Yes. And that one would probably it's not... It's a new hope. Yes. It probably will not get beat. I, I don't think the episode seven... I don't seven, think any following no. Star Wars movie will do as well in the box office. I don't think it will On either. On the flip side, every year, movie records are being broken, except yes. for the worldwide Avatar. Mm-hmm. But like Jurassic World broke records, and then... So, I mean, more people are going to movies. But I, hmm. on the same time... I think a lot of people are going to say, I did not like The Force Awakens, so I'm not going to see... I'm a not, lot of people are saying they were kind of disappointed. Now, they think, didn't like it, it, just disappointed. That's I was different to me. I was not disappointed because it was a Star Wars movie. That's what I expected. Sorry, It was great. That's what I expected. So... Um, I think we should be fine. I just don't think any other Star Wars, upcoming Star Wars movie, is going to no. beat it. No. But now that we're on the subject, we'll bef- before we get on the subject, I texted you the other day with one you, question. You texted me, w- yes. I texted you, what did I say? You said, what is Rogue One? What is Rogue One? It's a Star Wars movie. And that's coming out in March. May. Or May. May 2016. Mm-hmm. Explain this to me. Okay, so what Disney's doing is instead of releasing like a Star Wars episodic movie every year, kind of all like they do with the Marvel movies, um, Star Wars episodes will be kind of like the Avengers. They'll be like the big movie. Okay. And they'll be like every other year. So like set six, seven was this, was well last year technically now. And then this year will be a spinoff movie. Next year will be episode eight, then a spinoff movie, then episode nine. Okay. At least that's what the plan sounds like right now. Okay. So basically what that means is this year in 2016, the Star Wars movie that comes out will be Star War- will be Rogue One, a Star Wars movie. A Star Wars. So movie. it won't be like Star Wars Rogue One because they don't want to confuse it with the episodic timeline. Okay. And this is going to be like a filler <clears throat> back during the rebellion against the Empire. And this is between three and four. Um, I believe Rogue One is between three and four. But really, it's really right towards four, like right before four. Right before four, okay. Yeah, before four. Before four, 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 four. Um, it's a spinoff movie. Okay. Um, it's going to detail the story of, I believe, the plot is supposed to revolve around obtaining the Death Star plans. Okay. So many Bothan spies will die. No, wait. That was the second Death Star. Okay. Is this going to be in theaters or is it going to... Yes. Okay, and it will be it's in theaters. It's a theater release. It's a theater release. Okay. I didn't know if they were gonna do some weird Netflix release. No, or no, some no. Weird... This will be this will be like the Marvel release cycle, okay. but instead of like two movies a year, it'll be one movie a year. Episode spinoff, episode spinoff, episode I... spinoff, and then after that, I don't think there's plans for a ten through twelve episode trilogy, at least not right now. Okay, but there will be more spinoffs, I imagine. It it was weird because I was trying to compare it, but it's probably not a, the right comparison. But you take Halo, all the Halos, mm-hmm. and then you have ODST. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. ODST was was what you would call a spin-off. A spin-off story. of the Halo stories. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay. Um, I like I like ODST. ODST was good. Um yeah, it's like cars. <clears throat> and then there was planes. Yeah, planes. Mm-hmm. But then mm-hmm. there were still cars too. Or like how there's Toy Story, Toy Story Two, Toy Story Three. And then there's like this Toy Story like Halloween movie. I don't know if you saw that. No, it was straight I heard to, about it. It was straight to DVD. The straight to DVD. Better example, Lion King, Lion King 2. Then there was Lion King 1, one and, and a half. half. Makes sense. We're getting somewhere. It's going to be something like that. Okay, I got Except you. for it'll be a good movie, hopefully. Oh, definitely. Disney's doing a really good job with their live action, action movies. Good. Mainly I'm talking about the Marvel movies and Star Wars mm-hmm. recently. So. They're doing a lot of other. I mean, they're, there's more stuff coming out. They had the guys from Mystery Science Theater that are doing some stuff in spe, um, select theaters. Um, oh yeah, when they do riff tracks, mm-hmm, riff Great tracks. Stuff. They're coming out back with riff tracks. So there's a lot of stuff. We that's saw riff out. tracks for Sharknado. Oh wow. Yeah. Uh, we kind of like Sharknado for some reason. It's yeah, like a weird thing to like. I know because it's kind of stupid. Yeah. That's y- okay. You gotta have weird things. I, I mean, I, I like weird know. things too. Whatever. What's not cool about sharks and flying out of tornadoes eating people? Okay, pretty much everything about exactly. that's not cool. That's not the point. It's just, you know, it's entertainment. It's mm-hmm. silly. Mm-hmm. 
It's kind of gory, though, actually. Yeah, I kind of... But, like, the cheesy kind of gory, <laughs> not, like, slasher gory. Not bad. It's, like, the cheesy kind. Yeah. Still gory, though. It's not too bad. But since it's on sci-fi, the language really isn't, you know, bad. No, definitely not. That's one of the better things. I can handle the gore. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, um... What do you do? What is your daily routine in the morning? Do you drink coffee in the morning? No. You do not drink coffee. Mm-mm. Why not? Because the taste is disgusting. So you don't put any creamer in it? No. no. Coffee is gross. Coffee's gross. And like, it doesn't matter like how many things you add to it. You're still going to I can still coffee. taste that coffee aftertaste and it kills me. Also, coffee breath is gross. Is coffee breath is gross. Do you know- no offense everyone who drinks <clears throat> coffee... But please don't drink your coffee and then come and breathe on me or talk to me really close to my face. Because I won't try to hide my gross faces because that's disgusting and rude. Like, I want to come talk to you in the morning with morning breath before I brush no, my teeth. No, definitely not. It's kind of the same thing to me. It just, it's gross. I feel like... Now, since... if you're like trying to cover it up like by chewing some gum and it just won't go away, I get that. Cool. But if you're not trying... I, I feel bad because I get off work and I haven't been home in an extended amount of time, so I feel like I stink, um, which I probably do. I mean, I'm not sitting close enough to smell That's true. you, and your breath doesn't true. stink, so we're good. Now, what is your favorite um, food? If you were to, fav- oh, pizza. What? Pizza. That's, I didn't have to think about that. Pizza, Definitely not. Pizza is my favorite thing. Pizza is your favorite thing. If pizza should just be everyone's favorite thing. Pizza. Here's the thing. I think we can all agree that at the end of the day, a good pizza makes everyone happy. Exactly. Pizza is a gift from God. If when your mother told you it's Friday night, it's movie night, mm-hmm. I'm going to order a pizza. Or when I would go over to the Walters house, hey, I'm going to order some pizzas. Now, every mom, time. Every pizza. single time when I was over there, pizza. What's yes, the what, pizza we order? Pizza. We want pizza. I like my pizza different. James doesn't eat it with cheese. Not by choice. Not by Don't choice. Worry, I'm not weird. Well, I mean, it's weird that I eat pizza without cheese, but. <laughs> but we have this. Right here. I would be very happy if someone was like, hey, here's a piece of pizza. Right now, I would eat a pizza pizza. I think, I think and I should, ate dinner. I think we should have a pizza party next year, next next week Okay. for episode 52. But we've got a story. Oh, great. I was that hoping involves this was going somewhere. coffee and pizza. Okay. Colt Vinson, age 40, if not 44, age 4, was it's driving big difference. past. Wait, a 4-year-old was driving? No, his parents oh, okay. were driving past. I was going to say, 2016 is a strange year already. (laughs) Was passing. I said 44, and then I said he was driving at age four. No. Four years old, driving with his parents Mm -hmm. in uh, Yukon, Yukon, Oklahoma. And they passed a standoff. Wait, Yukon, Oklahoma? Yes, Yukon. So there's a place in Oklahoma called Yukon? Yes. Like the University of Connecticut? No. Oh, okay. Yukon. I think there's a Yukon in Alaska or Canada? I don't know. I don't know. Somewhere there. So it's it's like U C O N though. U C O N. Y Y U K O N. It's spelled Y U K O N, and it's pronounced Yukon. I believe so. Oh, like a U. Yes. But isn't that E W? Yes. Yeah. I, I'm assuming this is Yukon, or it so could it's be not Y U K O N. 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 That's how I'm saying it from now on. <laughs> y U K O N, Oklahoma. So we have a four year old from Y U K O N, Oklahoma. Who passed, he was in a car with his parents, and mm-hmm. he drove past a standoff. This standoff was for 16 hours. A standoff, like with, a Western-style standoff? A police standoff. Someone must have barricaded themselves into the house. So it was cold. Of course it's cold. It's cold here. It's cold everywhere. It's 32 degrees here. I mean, it's probably cold in Egypt right now. Yes, Actually, At, it's probably always cold in Egypt. Yeah, I, just, I just imagine Egypt as a desert, but that's probably not true. <laughs> But um, he passed by, and this four-year-old, not thinking about himself, mm-hmm. not thinking about what he's going to eat, mm-hmm. he, he thought, what are these officers going to eat, and what are they going to drink? Mm-hmm. He convinced his parents to go, and we were, they were going to stop at the uh, 7-Eleven. Mm-hmm. Have you ever been to 7-Eleven? Big gulps. Yeah, big gulps. Big gulps. Slurpees. Yes. He, uh, he convinced the 7-Eleven to uh, donate coffee. Nice. And a local pizza joint to uh, donate pizza. And he was able to convince, uh, to feed these police officers um, and give them food and keep them warm. And uh, I guess they were able to eat while they were standing off for 16 hours. That's awesome. 
And it was all free. It was all donated. He convinced them to donate food. That's great. So um, the suspect that was in the standoff, uh, Daniel Harris, mm-hmm. uh, was brought into custody. He, he surrendered. But um, I got to say, if a four-year-old can convince local pizza joints and local, uh, not local, but um, I mean, gas local stations. For them. Yeah, local for them. Coffee shops and stuff like that to donate. You know, that is, I wonder what I could do. But this is a act of kindness that we can see that um, it's just an act of kindness. Yeah, it was just you know, a, it's, it was a, it was a rough situation. And he was like, hey, who's helping out the police officers trying to help us mm-hmm. out? And he's like, let's get him some pizza. Exactly. I know at four years old, I knew the last thing that I would think about was somebody else. I don't know if that's the last well, thing you would think thing, about. But I, wouldn't but be, I definitely wouldn't, wouldn't have thought to be like, hey, let's go buy them some pizza. Exactly. I would have been like, oh, man. Those cops are trying to help somebody, you know. Exactly. So the Oklahoma City Police Department uh, added a photo of all the things that were donated, and they also posted a picture of him um, with his own very own badge. So you can check that out. Um, that's really kind of a cool story. Now, James is a big fan of pizza. Mm-hmm. He's not a big fan of coffee. No, I'm not. Regardless of what he puts in there. Uh, we have the most influential celebrities of 2015. Yes. So what we're seeing here is uh, one of two people that James is absolutely, he, he, he likes and he's a big supporter of them, have yeah. made it to this list. There are some celebrities that I actually kind of keep track of, mm-hmm. whether I talk about it or not. One being John Cena. Do, 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 do. He was number five. <laughs> Of the most influential, he has donated a lot of money, and he's uh, a big, big advocate for Make a Wish Foundation. Yes, he um, is. So, I think that's really cool that they're not just out there to make money, but they're all also out there to uh, do an act of kindness. You know, like we talked about in the last story, is mm-hmm. be an act of kindness and, and to help children uh, as they have a lifelong illness. And so he's able to offer so much. And so I think it's really cool that he's able to do that and be himself and to just be a great guy. Yes. But more, you you like you, you like John Cena. I like John Cena. But I definitely would say in the WWE, he would be my favorite wrestler, which, you know, whatever, I get the hate for him. But, you know. That's all right. That's that's life. I support him. I like Zack Ryder also. That's good. Well, and our truth really. So, you know, it's all over the board. Exactly. It's everywhere. But... You are a bigger fan. Eh, I don't know if I'd say bigger fan. You're a pretty big fan of Taylor Swift. It, I'll be honest. A lot of my Taylor Swift fandom, and this might shock some people, is kind of more as an ironic kind of fandom. Not that I don't think she's a good a good performer or a good songwriter. Um, I do. I just, a lot of the excitement is because people are like, oh, Taylor Swift, you know, it's it's kind of more. It started as more of like an ironic kind of thing, mm. and then grew into like, "Watch, well, she's actually like a pretty cool person." But we've also so, talked about her a lot. We do talk about we her did, a lot in the very in the very. The, um, if you go back and listen to like the first six months of the show, mm. we probably talked about her almost every week. Yes, the birth of the podcast unintentionally was, too. Taylor it Swift. just happened. It just brought it up, and it would, it might be one comment. It might be a whole story. I mean, we have 1989 back there True. after all. We do, and we both love Bad Blood. Uh I mean, I do. Um, but she is to be, she was nominated as the first, or not the nominated, but she was to be said the first number, the number one. She was the number one number on this one. list. N- number one on this up. list. Mm-hmm. Um, she has done a lot of stuff. She's donated five, or 50000 to Girls GoFundMe campaign. She's visited people. She's uh, done a lot. You probably know more than I do. I mean, she's just a cool person. She comes across, anyways, as a very down to earth, cool person. She is. She also wrote a song called Ronin. I don't know if you've heard it. I haven't heard it, but he, she dedicated it to a uh, a boy who who died at four years old with a uh, neuroblastoma. Hmm. So uh, overall, I think she's really good. She takes care of her fans, and she's proud. And she's actually obsessed with her fans. She uh, is obsessed. She's, she's she obsessed has been described as obsessed with her fans. Mm-hmm. Yes, I've and, heard her described that way. And I think it's really cool, though. I think it's it it's it's not saying, "Oh, look at me, I'm high and mighty." Like, "Oh, look, what can I do for you?" I mean, you she's definitely very me. proud of her work. Mm-hmm. And she definitely does not try to hide the fact that she has a lot of money. Mm-hmm. But she also doesn't come across to me 
Now, granted, this is, you know, from a very far away, kind of what the media portrays mm-hmm. her and kind of how she acts in social media. Mm-hmm. Doesn't come across to me as the kind of celebrity you'd run into on the street and would just be really snobby towards you. That's She that, might be in a hurry and might not have time to stop and talk to you, yeah. but she doesn't come across as she would be like snobby to you or something. I'm honestly, I'm really surprised that some of these people are on this list. I actually did, I was really surprised when I didn't see Lady Gaga on this list because she is also known to do that the same yeah. thing as uh, she I mean, you can't put out. everyone on the list. No, a lot of celebrities not. do good stuff. Definitely not. There's, I mean, they get a bad rap. Because of like some people, some celebrities like just don't care about anyone. For the most part, they're mostly nice people. Mm-hmm. Mostly. Mostly. It just depends who you run into. In my experience. Yeah. Not that I've ever met. Not met some celebrities face to face. Now, are you surprised Taylor Swift was number one on the list? Uh, I mean, kind of. Because she does a lot of stuff for her fans. Mm-hmm. Which, I mean, I guess John Cena's most of his make a wish were for fans of John Cena. So mm-hmm. that's kind of, I don't know. I'm surprised, but I'm also not. She does. She does seem like a cool person that would not, maybe not go out of her way to help you, but she definitely wouldn't try to avoid it. Gotcha. Well, you heard it here, folks. You heard it here. Yeah. Taylor yeah. Swift Taylor will Swift. not avoid trying to help you. Definitely not, and that's why we're going to open up the new year. But uh, I guess we're going to take a little break right we now. We are going to take. A break I, I think right we now. went a little far. We we did pretty good. We did pretty. We well. started the year yeah. off strong. Awesome. We had a well. We had a lot to talk about. We did. And yet we didn't have a lot to talk about at the same time. One quick story before the break. Speaking of 7-Eleven. Okay. We're in Washington and we're driving. And we see like a 7-Eleven like by itself with no gas station. And Rachel was like, look at that 7-Eleven with no gas station. I was like, yes, it's a convenience store. It's, it's a just, convenience store. A lot of the times you see it with a gas station. Mm-hmm. She was like, mind blown. That's weird. It's not weird to me. That's weird. On the West Coast, like there's a lot mm-hmm. of them like that. It's true. That is true. Anyways. Yeah. We'll be right back.